Okay, so I think we can get started now. So hello everyone, like I said, my name is Cassidy Wade. I am a health educator for UChicago Student Wellness. I've been a health educator since September 2019, so coming up on my one year soon. Um, and welcome to mindfulness meditation class today. So the topic for the day is calming the mind. Um, and so we're gonna do a meditation to calm the mind. Um, and the meditation method that we're gonna use is called the Gata. So I don't know if you, how much experience everyone on this call has had. Um, we have about 40, 40 people on the call right now, so I'm sure that it's very varied, but um, there are very different ways to do meditations. And it's really cool because if you follow along and come to more meditation courses through um, this platform, you'll be able to experience different ways to meditate and hopefully you'll find a favorite. Um, but like I said, today we're gonna focus on the Gata. And before we actually start the Gata meditation, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what a Gata is and talk to you, yeah, and explain, explain what it is before we actually perform the Gata. And we're gonna do two Gathas today. Um, also, just so you know, I'm in the city and at home, of course, like most of you probably are. So there might be like loud street noise, but hopefully it'll be okay. So I'll go and I'll start begin, I'll begin describing what the Gata is. So um, Gathas are small poems designed to help us meditate and gathas are really special because you can use them at any moment. You can use them when you're sitting, when you're walking, when you're cooking, whatever you're doing, you can just incorporate a gatha into your present moment experience and practice meditation. The purpose of the gatha is to help occupy your thinking. It also helps you to set a direction for your practice at the moment. And it also helps you to be more mindful of your breathing. So meditation, like I said a few moments ago, meditation really is designed to just help you focus on the present moment experience. Meditation is to help you ground yourself right now. You're not thinking about tomorrow or what you need to do in three hours. It's just right now. And the gatha is really good for helping you focus on the present. Gathas are best to use in coordination with your breath. We're gonna practice that extensively today. So as you breathe in, you can say the first line to yourself. And as you breathe out, you say the second line and so forth. So then the third line, you would breathe in and say, say it out loud. And then the fourth line, you would breathe out and say it to yourself. So um, in this way, we touch the act that we were performing with the gata and we touch our breathing too. So you're not only focusing on the words that you're saying, but you're centering your breath and you're getting your body in tuned with meditating. Um, and as you become more grounded in your breathing, mindfulness of breathing will assist in mindfulness of action. And so breathing, action, and gata go together. It becomes a full body experience and something that will hopefully impact you totally. Um, each one reinforces the other. So like actually saying the gata and the breathing, they reinforce each other. And your ability to be in the moment is increased. So that's why gatas, which help bring attention to the present moment can be used informally and formally. So like that's why I said you can sit down and do a gata, but you can also do the gata while cooking, while hanging out with your kids, like while you're in the middle of the library, you can use the gata whenever. Um, so like while you're brushing your teeth even, like whatever, whenever you want to do a gata, whenever you want to practice meditation, it's perfect for doing that. It just helps you be present in the moment experience. Um, and you can also use gatas formally, like we're about to do now in today's meditation class. So um, we're gonna start the gata. Like I said, we're gonna do two of them. So um, what we're gonna do is, so I'm gonna like say it and then you can like repeat after me um, and I'll give you a moment to like get used to saying the words and then hopefully you kind of remember it so you can do it at the same time as me. Um, and we'll do this for about like seven minutes. So if you can get really comfortable in your chair, close your eyes. And if you don't want to close your eyes, you can just gaze downward. And before we start the gato, just for a moment, I just want you to focus on your breath. And now I'm gonna begin the gata. So like I said, the first line would be breathing in and then the second line would be breathing out, but that would be breathing, sorry, the first line would be breathing in and saying it out loud. And then the second line would be breathing out and saying it to yourself. Okay, so. 
sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. So now we're gonna switch it up a little bit and we're still focusing on the same gata, but um, instead of saying the full phrases, we're gonna move to the last word that I said. So you'll breathe in on the first and third word and breathe out on the second and fourth word. So we're gonna transition to that. So, moment. Mindfully. Love. Compassion. Moment. Mindfully. Love. Compassion. Moment. Mindfully. Love. Compassion. And I want you to take a few moments to say those words by yourself. So I won't lead you just for just for a few moments, but the words are moment, mindfully, love, compassion. Take a few moments to just breathe in and out those words. Before we transition to the next gata, I just wanna redo this one in full. So with the full phrase, and then I'll transition, then I'll do the bolded, the last um, words of the sentences, and then we'll transition to the next gata. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. 
Each in-breath nourishes slow. Each out-breath compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath compassion. Moment. Mindfully. Love. Compassion. Moment. Mindfully. Love. Compassion. So that wraps up our first gata. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and we're going to transition to the next gata. And it has a really different vibe to it. So hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. So we're going to use the same method that we used for the first one. Um, breathing in on the first phrase, breathing out on the second phrase, and then third and fourth follow the same structure. Um, and I'll say it a lot of times until hopefully you can memorize it yourself. And then we'll focus on the last words of those sentences. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it all to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it to come to me brings peace. World, chaos, me, peace, world, chaos, me, Peace. World. Chaos. Me. Peace. I'm going to pause for a moment and let you practice doing that by yourself. So I'll bring you back in about a minute or two, but just focus on repeating the gata and focus on your breath and allow saying the gatha to sweep over you.
chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it all to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it all to come to me brings peace. World, chaos. Me, peace. World, chaos. Me, peace. World, chaos. Me, peace. So um, I'm actually gonna redo both gatas. So kind of before we like end the session for the day, but I want to go back through both gatas um, a couple of times. And I wanted to say really quickly, the beauty of the gata is that because you're so focused on the words and hopefully paying attention to your breathing, it eliminates all other thoughts from your mind because you're focused, you know? You don't have to be worrying about anything about school, work, the world crumbling. You can lay all that aside for a few moments and focus on the beauty of the words that you're saying and focus on getting in tune with your body by focusing on your breath. So I'm gonna go back to the first gata and then we're gonna end with the second gata. So, sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Sitting in the present moment, I breathe mindfully. Each in-breath nourishes love. Each out-breath, compassion. Moment, mindfully. Love, Compassion. Moment. Mindfully. Love. Compassion. Moment. Mindfully. Love, compassion. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it all to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it all to come to me brings peace. Chasing after the world brings chaos. Allowing it all to come to me brings peace. World, 
chaos. Me, peace. World, chaos. Me, peace. World, chaos. Me, peace. Okay, so that wraps up the Gotham meditation for the day. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. There are a ton of different Gathas out there, like so many. And the ones that we, like the Gatha that we practice in person when we normally do this um, for students, it's, it's different than the one that we did today. So um, yeah, so if you're interested in Gatha, like, like I said, there are diff like so many ways to meditate and the Gatha is just one, one method. Um, so yeah, if you, if you enjoyed it, please, I encourage you to like look up different ways to do the kata, find one that you love, find one that's really easy to memorize, um, and get into it. Um, before you all go, I'm going to post the link in the group chat 